5 a.m. Check out the roof. That's how cold it is. It's freezing. I see dead people. Okay, so this is the uh, behind the scenes video for Ain't That a Bitch. I am playing uh, the master to Damon's Van Dam student. And um, I'm going to kick his ass. So we shot this early one morning at Treasury Gardens and it's a parody um, of specific scenes from the 1988 film Bloodsport. Kin's playing Senzo and Damon's playing Frank. Three, two, one. This is Russ's interpretation of the 1976 Rocky and my version of Mickey Goldmill, Rocky's trainer. Dental hygiene wasn't particularly on Mickey's agenda. We shot a few iconic Rocky training montage scenes, but the hard part was actually working with the chicken. Oh, oh no. We created a chicken wall to deter the chicken from entering into the creek. That chicken actually had no fear. It's a beautiful day to chase a chicken, I'll tell you that. We've got Kin and Ro as Daniel Sun and Mr. Miyagi doing our version of Wax On and Wax Off. Wax Off! Alright! He's just about to discover that he's polished a laser into a Lamborghini. It was actually a very impressive vehicle that we weren't allowed to touch in any way. That's a beautiful day, isn't it? We wanted Kin's Miyagi to be like a creepy old uncle that kind of abused Daniel's son under the guise of teaching him karate. So I'm about to get on the boat in uh, nine degree heat. Freeze, nine degree cold. I'm gonna pretend I'm Karate Kid on his montage mission. I think I have to fall into the water and go really cold. We've just sent Ro out in a boat to do some karate on the sunset sort of looking scene here. Do it for a while then fall in. <laughs> Ro just did an excellent fall, looks natural. Yeah, yeah. Now we meet our troll for the first time, played by Liam O'Brien. They looked for the creepiest guy they could find, and it was me, so I'm actually... I don't know how to feel about that, actually. So, we're actually trying to set up a, a dolly shot here where the camera passes through the crowd and focuses on our internet troll. This is the Gershwin Room, Esplanade Hotel, St Kilda. Okay, Bob. We didn't have any music, so Russ was actually supplying the beat that everyone was bopping to. Here I am explaining to Spencer that I want him to sniff Madison's G-string that she hands him from the audience. And the periphery were actually supposed to have their instruments for this part, but something went wrong and we had a limited amount of time, so they went for it without instruments. And it turned out actually pretty funny. That's a little detail that people can catch. There's a bear in there. And the scene on the roof in St Kilda at Captain Baxter's trying to get this huge friggin' bear into the elevator up onto the balcony was a bit of a task. The weather was a bit shit, but we made the most of it. We did a little bit of stuff in post to make it look like a sunnier day than it actually was. And Spencer was necking that bottle of Jack Daniels. Okay, so we're at Oakland's Productions in Nutawati and we're shooting the band recording scene, so let's have a look. We shot quite a few scenes at Oakland's that didn't end up going in the clip, just simply because we didn't have time. But we had a lot of fun, we, we uh, altered the storyline a bit. Originally it was going to be uh, depicting me as a taskmaster, forcing the guys to do their best jobs, which isn't far from the truth. <laughs> For some reason we had this ongoing thing of Ro getting punched by Russ and that also didn't make it in the final version. I stroll down to the shops and pick out 
usually just one liter of milk because I I don't like to keep milk much longer than that in the fridge because it tends to go off and um, garbage night Sunday so I've got to make sure that I can drink what what I've got I tend to just fill up a glass three quarters of the way and then I'll get a teaspoon out of the drawer Yes. Thank you. Once was a little duck. And all he did all day. <laughs> We're filming this last few days in Studio 44 at Horizon Films in St Kilda. And this is probably one of the oldest movie studios in Melbourne. Awesome. We've built an entire room over there, and that started off as the band bedroom, and it was redressed to make it look like the troll bedroom, repainted, redecorated and stuff. We actually had quite a lot of fun looking back at this. Liam was such a good sport, and the whole team that we had was great. That's John Fox. While we fine-tuned the fight choreography, Liam was getting the prosthetic supplied by the very talented Steve Boyle, who worked on The Hobbit and a bunch of other epic films. Once we put the contacts in, then it'll, it'll, it'll be fully transformation. The Liam we once knew will be gone. That's right, I said fully transformation. Punch. We sort of filmed the fight in sections to focus on the details. The machete wound, it's had a time to sink in that I've just surprised him and stuck a meat cleaver in his arm. While he's distracted, I'm gonna get behind him and break his neck. Yeah. They love it when I take them outside. They're all there, they're all friends. The bloody stuff was actually funny when we did it, but it definitely didn't turn out funny in the end. So this is the last day of the uh, the shoot. We just this is the part where I um, finish up with the troll, do a bit of chopping, a bit of dismemberment. So far, it's so good. I think it's uh, it's a bit messy, but it's all part of it, you know. I don't think I'll be forgetting the smell of that much meat anytime soon. Ha ha ha!